Hello everybody, welcome back to Miss B's Plan B. It's lovely to see you, I hope that you're well. I wonder if looking around you can guess what my story is about today. Hmm. Aha, have you spotted it? Yes, my story is about an owl. And not just one owl, it is an owl family. Any ideas? I can hear some of you have guessed it today. My special story is Owl Babies, written by Martin Waddell and illustrated by Patrick Benson. So, I hope you're sitting comfortably, ready for today's story. Once, there were three baby owls, Sarah and Percy and Bill. They lived in a hole in the trunk of a tree with their owl mother. The hole had twigs and leaves and owl feathers in it. It was their house. One night, they woke up and their owl mother was gone. Where's mummy? asked Sarah. Oh my goodness, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. The baby owls thought, all owls think a lot. I think she's gone hunting, said Sarah. To get us our food, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. But their owl mother didn't come. The baby owls came out of their house and they sat on the tree and waited. A big branch for Sarah, a small branch for Percy and an old bit of ivy for Bill. She'll be back, said Sarah, back soon said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. It was dark in the wood and they had to be brave for things moved all around them. She'll bring us mice and things that are nice, said Sarah. I suppose so, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. They sat and they thought, all owls think a lot. I think we should all sit on my branch, said Sarah. And they did, all three together. Suppose she got lost, said Sarah. Or a fox got her, said Percy. I want my mummy, said Bill. And the owl babies closed their eyes and wished their owl mother would come. And she came! Soft and silent, she swooped through the trees to Sarah and Percy and Bill. Mummy! They cried and they flapped and they danced and they bounced up and down on their branch. What's all the fuss? their owl mother asked. You knew I'd come back. The baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I knew it, said Sarah. And I knew it, said Percy. I love my mummy, said Bill. Oh, what a lovely story. And at the end there's some beautiful paper reminding us of owl feathers. So I hope you enjoyed that lovely story, Owl babies. A lovely fun thing you might want to do afterwards is you could retell the story of owl babies using puppets and you might be thinking oh but I haven't got an owl pu puppet. Do not worry because you can do a very simple craft activity. If you look around your house and you find maybe um, an old brown paper bag or an old brown envelope you could make your very own owl puppet. So this is one I've made out of an envelope so I've left the flap there just so you can see it's an envelope but then I have to cut that off and you can decorate it with big owl eyes and pointy ears and a beak and you could decorate it draw on the feathers or you might even like to collage them so sticking little bits of paper onto it to give the effect of feathers and then you could retell the story of owl babies and even have a go maybe of making a little owl family so I hope you enjoyed that activity happy owl making 
and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.